Medley S13, the local favourite, goes for Canada in lane number five, Valérie Grand Maison. Russian Federation there, looking relaxed and happy as the competitors walk out for this next event. Repeating what the men just did. Will we see a world record though? 227.64. That goes to Lady in four, but there's Curry for the USA in lane one. Kurzo goes in lane two for Germany. Bruce Mallon in lane three for Australia. Rebecca Myers there. Popping up, but there is Valerie Grandmay's on. Huge world record, Paralympic champion from Canada. Young for the USA goes in six. Gomez Batelli completes the lineup in seven for Spain, so just seven competitors in this final. Maybe she's tweeting us that Russian coach there. We haven't given you the Twitter address. We'll have to do that soon. You send us some messages. We could do that uh, slightly later after this particular race. So we've got five finals and then we have a series of medal presentations following those finals for the first for the first few events. But Valerie Grand Maison, one of the poster girls here in Montreal, the local swimmer, trying to add the world title to the Paralympic title that she won in London. Women's SM13, 200 metres individual medley is on the way. And very good start there from the Paralympic champion, Valerie Grand Maison. Also a good start from Tegan Van Roosmaal from Australia. Not much to choose between the top four as they approach the end of the butterfly leg. Grand Maison maybe just with the edge as they come into the red markers, the last five metres. Yes, Grand Maison quick off the blocks, nice through the air and nice into a stroke, but seemed to go to sleep in the first 15 metres of her swimming, but uh, got into a stroke and in, uh, in a position to challenge for gold. I'm sure she's feeling mentally relaxed. The race really does come through on the third 50. The very technical breaststroke is a crucial leg in this four length swim. Valerie Grand Maison in lane number four. A full body length down on, Roos, uh, on lane number five. Myers, Rebecca Ann Myers from the USA. Turning in 110.68. One and three quarter seconds clear of Valerie Grand Maison, but she does like a breaststroke. And looking a bit long in the water, I must say. Not pitching the hands up, she's pushing the hands forwards. But here, that's a better shot of some technical, technical breaststroke work. The white hat, Valerie Grand Maison, that world record 227.64. We'll watch the clock and wonder whether the split is quick enough. Just about a second down on world record pace, but Rebecca Ann Myers has come really back into contention here. The US team going crazy, the Canadians also going crazy in the crowd here. It's these two swimmers going head to head. They're looking at each other as they come down the lane here into the last few meters. What a battle between these two. Grammy Zorn, the local swimmer, the Canadian. Can she get the first Canadian gold of these championships? Not finished yet. Myers coming through and she's gonna nick it. Rebecca Ann Myers has done it by eight one hundred. 
tenths of a second. What a finish from the USA swimmer. Two minutes, 30.04. She has taken the gold from the local girl, Valerie Grandmaison. She will take the silver. Tegan Van Roosmalen will take the bronze for Australia. But what finish from the American swimmer. Grandmaison, well, I thought she had it there. Five or ten metres out, but... What a finish, Rebecca Ann Myers just snuck in there in the final stroke. Well, Myers just looked so very low in the water. I don't know how she came through in the last 15 metres down the breaststroke length and just found the speed and the energy and the, the speed endurance, really, on the freestyle to just go up the gears and increase the stroke rate. And, well, that was great, great racing. And this is the breakout into the stroke. You can can't quite see centre of the pool there. Valerie Grand Maison staying underwater a lot longer. It's difficult to maintain speed when you're underwater for a, a length of time. Your lungs are bursting. You want to get up for that breath, but you know you're faster underwater. And here's the finish. Myers closest to us, head down. Oh, and she didn't really need to take that extra stroke on her right arm. She was there. But she... The last five metres held on. Grumby's on was ahead there. Coming into the last five, Myers just picked up the stroke rate and just managed to get in by eight one hundredths of a second. That's the official result. Rebecca Ann Myers is the world champion. 230.04. Valerie Grumby's on takes the silver for Canada and Tegan Van Roosmalen, the bronze for Australia. Oh. A few more races.